Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. Rainy Dallas, Texas. I think I need a boat. I'm in a metal building. The raindrops might... You might hear them in the background. Hopefully it doesn't screw up this video. Forgive me if it does. I get a lot of questions. I talk about all sorts of polishers. 15 millimeter throws, 21 millimeter throws. I get questions saying, Scott, which polisher is better for me, a 21 millimeter or a 15 millimeter? Regardless of who makes the machine, which is the better throw when it comes to paint correction? Well, in theory, this is the way it works, right? This is the theory we've all been told that a 21 millimeter polisher versus a 15 millimeter polisher is going to remove defects off the paint a little bit faster. That is true, but I do not want you to get hung up on that because I want to tell you something. I want to explain the bigger picture. Let me first show you this. I'm going to run this machine and you'll see how this thing actually wor works. Watch when it slows down. You can really see its oscillation. You'll see that not only is the pad turning, but it also oscillates. You see it's kind of out of round, right? That's the 21 millimeter throw. The 21 millimeter throw is the most extreme out of the long throw polishers on the market. That one's 15 millimeter, not as extreme. The 21 millimeter throw, because it has a more extreme throw to it, it's very important to understand something. Because there's so much action happening below the pad with that long throw, it will generate more heat than the 15 millimeter throw on the surface of the paint. Is that a big thing to understand? Yes. Heat isn't always your best friend when you're doing paint correction, especially on soft clear coat. When it comes to a 21 millimeter polisher, you want to be very careful. You need to understand and tweak the moment, especially if you're working on soft clear coat. Because what will happen if you don't understand your paint system or know what pad to pick or tweak your arm speed or your downward pressure, let's say I lacked experience and I was working on very soft clear coat and because the 21 millimeter is going to generate a little bit more heat than the 15 millimeter, I can take my pad, right, put like an aggressive compound on the pad, go in here on soft clear coat and do five or six se section passes, pull up and wipe the compound off. I'm going to be very happy because I'm going to look at the paint and go, yay, I removed all the defects. But the next thing I'm going to notice, because too much heat was generated with a 21 millimeter throw, especially on soft clear coat, if I didn't use the right pad and I lacked experience, I'm going to see hazy paint, cloudy paint. I'll even see holograms. People will ask me, can a long throw polisher generate holograms? Yes, just like a rotary. But here's what's really crucial, folks. When you look at the 21 millimeter throw polisher, be very careful not to fall into the trap just because you heard it can remove defects a little bit faster than the 15. The 15 millimeter polisher, in my opinion, especially for, be for beginners, is a little bit more balanced for most paint systems. Less heat is generated on the surface of the paint because the throw is not ex as extreme as the 21 millimeter. This will become, you know, there's pros that know this, but they don't talk about it. People who even sell these machines don't even talk about it. But I really feel it's an important point to understand. So the 15 millimeter is going to be a little bit more balanced for beginners. They can understand how the long throw works. They may want to choose to jump up to a 21 millimeter for certain scenarios, especially hard clear coats, large panels, whatever you might be working on. But when it comes to soft clear coat, a smaller throw is going to be your friend a little bit more for a beginner if you don't know how to tweak your pad, your arm speed, or choose the right compound. I want to talk about something. Let me ask you a question. Let's say this was soft clear coat, like a Porsche I did last week, and I'm going to do a two-step correction. Let's say I lacked experience and used that 21 millimeter polisher, and I had, I removed the defects, but it was very hazy after. Some people are going to say, what's the big deal, Scott? You're doing a two-step anyway. Just finish out with a polisher, remove that hazy paint. That's not a good mindset to have, and I want to tell you why. And this is why a 15 millimeter with soft paint and with the right pad can actually help you. If I have a lot of cloudiness or haziness or holograms after the initial step of a two-step, my polish isn't going to give me maximum shine and gloss. What I mean by that is my polish isn't going to give me maximum potential because I'm starting off at a foundation that's not so pristine. Really important to understand, to get maximum shine and gloss from your polish, it all depends on how well you finished out on your initial cut of the two-step correction. 
that's where a 21 millimeter can become a little problematic in the hands of people who don't have experience with certain paint systems they don't know how to tweak the moment with the right pad and compound a 15 millimeter is going to be more balanced for most yes it comes with a five inch backing plate with five inch pads what makes it nice right you can work in tighter areas than the 21 but eventually a 21 millimeter you'll want it to be in your arsenal for certain scenarios but on really soft you know Japanese black clear coat 21 millimeters is not going to be my my choice I can use it because I have experience I can tweak the moment I can pick the right pad I can pick the right compound sl speed up my arm speed if I need to but for a beginner a 15 millimeter is going to be more user friendly to you less of a learning curve versus the 21 I hope that makes sense I love you all that's a question I get asked all the time 15 millimeter polisher is probably going to be more user friendly for a beginner. Once you master the long throw with a 15, master your pad selection based on the paint system you're using, plus your compound and polish, you'll want to go up to a 21 millimeter for certain scenarios to kind of get you through the process a little bit faster. But I wouldn't overthink the moment that you've heard 21 millimeters will do it a little bit quicker in most scenarios because there's a lot of problems with the 21 generating too much heat on the paint. We want to try to keep heat low. We want to finish out extremely well on a two-step on our initial cut. So when we polish afterwards, we're really getting maximum shining gloss from our polish. I love you all. I hope that helps you out. Talk to you soon.